Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney General Garland, let, let me just ask you, d does your department have a problem with anti-Catholic bias? Uh, our department um, is, uh, 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 protects all religions um, and all ideologies. It does not have uh, any uh, bias against any religion of any kind. Well, you could have surprised me, because given the resources that you are expending and the apparently intelligence assets that you are deploying against Catholics, it appears, and other people of faith, while simultaneously turning a blind eye while people are executed gang style on the streets of our cities, including in my home state, I, your answer frankly surprises me. Let's talk about the Mark Houck case, for example. You've been asked about this already today, and frankly, your answers really astound me. This is a case where a Catholic pro-life demonstrator, father, was accused of disorderly conduct in front of an abortion center. The local prosecutor, the Philadelphia district attorney, who is a Democrat, a liberal, very progressive, declined to prosecute. There was a private suit that got dismissed. And then after all of that, your Justice Department sent between 20 and 30 armed agents in the early morning hours to the Houck's private residence to arrest this guy after he had offered to turn himself in voluntarily. Here's the photo once again. You can see the long guns. You can see the ballistic shields. You can see that they're wearing bulletproof vests. Why did the Justice Department do this? Why did you send 20 to 30 SWAT-style agents and a SWAT-style team to this guy's house when everybody else had declined to prosecute and he'd offered to turn himself in? Determinations of how to make arrests under arrest warrants are made based uh, by the tactical operators um, in the uh, district. They are not but you surely looked into it by this point, right? They you, you know the answer. Surely. They, all I know is what uh, the FBI has said, which is that they made the decisions on the ground as to what was safest and easiest. So you do not agree with your description of what happened on the scene. You don't agree with my description. I'm pointing out what the photo is. There are agents here who have long guns and ballistic shields. Let's take a look at the hardened criminals that your Justice Department sent these armed agents to go terrorize on that morning. Here they are. Here they are at mass. Here's the seven children with Mr. Houck and his wife. In this early morning, they were all at home. Mrs. Houck has said repeatedly the children were screaming. They feared for their lives. You've got these agents demanding that he come out. They've got the guns, she said, pointing at the house and at them. He has offered to turn himself in. And this is who you go to terrorize. What's really interesting to me is this seems to directly contradict your own memorandum about the use of force at the Justice Department. You say officers may use only the force that is objectively reasonable to effectively control an incident. Are you telling me that in your opinion as Attorney General, it was objectively necessary to use 20 or 30 SWAT-style agents with long guns and ballistic shields for these people? What I'm saying is that decisions about how to go about this were made on the ground by FBI agents. So you're saying you don't know? I'm, I'm saying what I just said. That Which is that you're abdicating responsibility? I'm not abdicating responsibility. Then give me the answer. Is Do you think in your opinion, you are the Attorney General of the United States, you are in charge of the Justice Department, and yes, sir, you are responsible. The so FBI, give me an answer. The FBI does not agree with your description. I'm not asking about the FBI. You are the Attorney General. Give me your answer. Do you think that it was objectively reasonable and they followed your guidelines in sending 20 to 30 armed agents to terrorize these people? Yes or no? The facts I have, which are those presented by the FBI, are not consistent with your description. So you think it was reasonable? I'm saying the facts are not as you describe. What, that the children weren't there? That there, wasn't, that there weren't long guns there? Facts. That there weren't agents? What, wasn't, what, what do you dispute? What's the factual premise you dispute? FBI Be specific. FBI said they don't agree with your description of... Be um, specific. They don't agree with what? Of, of how many agents, of the agents who were there, and of what their roles were. They don't agree. Do you That's know the jury in this case acquitted Mr. Houck? As I'm sure you're aware. Do you know how long it took him? I, I am aware, and we respect the decision of the jury. Do you know how long it took him? I don't know. One hour. One hour. 
Philadelphia District Attorney declines to prosecute. The private suit's dismissed. You use an unbelievable show of force with guns that I just note liberals usually decry. We're supposed to hate long, long guns and assault-style weapons. You're happy to deploy them against Catholics and innocent children. Happy to. And then you haul him into court and a jury acquits him in one hour. I just suggest to you that that is a disgraceful performance by your Justice Department and a disgraceful use of resources. I notice a pattern, though. The FBI field office in Richmond on the 23rd of January of this year issued a memorandum in which they advocated for, and I quote, the exploration of new avenues for tripwire and source development against traditionalist Catholics, it's their, their language, including those who favor the Latin mass. Attorney General, are you cultivating sources and spies in Latin mass parishes and other Catholic parishes around the country? No, the Justice Department does not do that. It does not um, um, do investigations based on religion. I saw the document you have. What did you do about it? It's appalling. It's appalling. I'm in complete agreement with you. I understand that the FBI has withdrawn it and is now looking into how this could ever have happened. How did it happen? That's what they're looking into. But I'm totally in agreement with you. That document is appalling. I'll tell you how it happened. The this memorandum, which is supposed to be intelligent, cites extensively the Southern Poverty Law Center, which goes on to identify all of these different Catholics as being part of hate groups. Is, is this how the FBI, under your direction and leadership, is, is this how they do their intelligence work? They look, they look at left-wing advocacy groups to target Catholics? Is this what's going on? I mean, clearly it is. How is this happening? The FBI is not targeting Catholics, and, and as I've said, this is an uh, an inappropriate memorandum, and it doesn't reflect the methods that the FBI is supposed to be using, should not be relying on any single organization without doing its own work. Let me just ask you, as my time expires here, a very direct question. How, how many informants do you have in Catholic churches across America? I don't know, and I don't believe we have any informants aimed at Catholic churches. We have a rule against uh, investigations based on First Amendment um, activity, and uh, uh, Catholic churches are obviously... Uh, First Amendment activity, well, but I don't know the specific answer to your you, question. You don't know the specifics of anything, it seems, but apparently on your watch, this Justice Department is targeting Catholics, targeting people of faith, specifically for their faith views. And Mr. Attorney General, I'll just say to you, it's a disgrace.